The fifth-ranked boys team in Class 6A from Norman North opened the McGinnis Classic against Class 5A's 14th-ranked Guthrie. Off the break, Norman North's Trey Young gave it up to Marcus Dickinson Jr. for the layup. Marcus managed 14 points for the Timberwolves. Russ Gilmore's Guthrie squad was led by J.D. Honeycutt as the senior hit some tough shots on his way to 17. Norman North was led by Trey Young. Young, who is one of the top juniors in the entire country, scored from behind the arc on breakaway layups and on pull-up jumpers to lead all scores in this contest with a game-high 26. Norman North advanced to the semifinals with their fifth straight W. This one was a 76-55 win over the Blue Jays. To a girls game at the Bethany Classic, Class 3A's 14th ranked Bethel got the nice drive to the hole from Michaela Witten. Witten wound up with a team high 18 points. Star Spencer's Janetta Davis found Shea Toya Bryson for the bucket and foul. Bryson had a team best 21 for Leroy Combs Ladies. Desiree Stevens was money from the corner for the Lady Bobcats as she chipped in nine, but Jace Johnson's Lady Wildcats won a wild one. Casey Baker had the nice entry pass to Paige Delsine for the shot off the glass. Paige put up eight as Bethel beat Star Spencer in OT. To Kingfisher, where the Three Rivers Conference basketball tournament was taking place. Patrick Penner's O'Keen men were playing Cashin in this one. Cashin's Luke Jenkins to Seth Brown for the baseline drive. Seth settled for nine points for the Wildcats. O'Keen answered on the other end of the court when Colby Cagle kicked it out to Jace Osmus for the three-pointer. The Whippets then got another three. This time, Joel Noose found the bottom from the corner as Joel led O'Keen with 17 points. John Hardaway then turned to his best player, Vaughn Rainey. Rainey had the slick shot high off the glass for two of his game-high 20 as Cashin survived in overtime 47-45.